Hey, welcome back to another monumental episode of Exit the Norm. I'll be your host, Jeff. Not Jeff. Not Jeff Jr. So today we're in Northfield, New Hampshire, and we're going to be checking out the Memorial Arch of Tilton that's here, along with a couple of other things. But before we show you the arch, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you win. All right, let's go check it out. Can we hoot? Now you won't find the Memorial Arch of Tilton in the town of Tilton, New Hampshire. Instead, you'll find it just over the Winnipesaukee River in the small town of Northfield. Sitting atop a 150 foot high hill, this 55 foot high, 40 foot wide megastructure is quite a sight to see. Now this arch was commissioned by the area's wealthiest resident, Charles Elliott Tilton, all the way back in 1882. The arch was originally intended to be his final resting place, or he could keep watch over his beloved hometown for eternity. But his plans of being interred underneath this massive monument never really panned out. Charles had the idea for his arch after he visited Rome and saw the Arch of Titus. Now the Arch of Titus was constructed by Emperor Domitian in 81 AD to honor his late brother Titus. Now the Arch of Titus has been the inspiration for a number of other arches all over the world, including the most famous one, the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Charles Tilton made a fortune during the California Gold Rush, not by digging gold but by providing the miners with the much needed supplies. After that, he became even more successful and even more wealthy when he got involved in the banking industry, the transportation industry, and he even dabbled a little in the real estate industry. His ventures took him all over the world and made him a boatload of money. After amassing his fortune, he returned home, built a beautiful mansion, and set out with the goal of improving his town. He spared no expense and constructed the beautiful and elaborate town hall, which included a market, a town office, a store, and a post office. Now, this building was outfitted with hardwood flooring throughout, beautiful frescoes, and even a Steinway piano. He also donated money to renovate a local church, he built an iron bridge between the towns of Tilton and Northfield, and he purchased a plot of land and turned it into a park for the citizens to use. And if that wasn't enough, he even kept adding more and more improvements to his own house, with the intention of keeping local laborers and mechanics employed indefinitely. Now, Charles was truly a great man and cared deeply for his town and the people who lived there. So even though there's no one buried here under the arch, it's still a really cool place to visit. The arch was actually added to the National Register of Historical Places in 1980. So if you're in the area, you should definitely check it out. So this is actually where Charles is buried. He's not buried underneath the arch in that sweet looking sarcophagus. He's actually buried right here in a nearby cemetery in his hometown. Thanks for joining us here on this latest episode of Exit the Norm. If you haven't already, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know down in the comments where your favorite place is to grave rob. Hopefully you learn something. You don't need to go here! Okay. <laughs> Are you recording this? So, if you do come to the arch, um, don't poop on it. 